Otto Mindfluence, we're in Munich in search of the ultimate football Christmas weekend. We'll be belting out Christmas carols, fending off Krampus and glugging down Gluhein. Just arrived at our pad for the weekend. This is Tim, social man. This is sick! This is way too Look at this statement. <laughs> Oh, it certainly feels like home. <laughs> oh my god! Look at it. And it's cold! A lovely landlord has left us five beers fresh from the fridge. Oh. <laughs> That's enough of the 80s party anthems. Time to go and watch 1860. We've just spotted the U-Bahn. Our weekend begins here. We've arrived at the Alliance, which in my opinion looks better in blue, for 1860 versus Heidenheim. Let's go and start our weekend. Let's check it out. Oh, the smell of bratwurst in the air. You can't beat it. So we bought safe standing tickets because we thought it was going to be the most booming place in the stadium. Um, it's actually not, there's hardly any people here. So we're right next to the away fans and they're going mental. Everyone else is in the other end. We're about to kick off. Up the six here! Here they come! Go on, Munchen! The 1861-0 down, five minutes gone. Jason, give me some football insight. There's a pigeon on the pitch. 2 1 Heidenheim. Oh! Oh! oh. 3 1 Heidenheim. So it's the first part of the weekend. We've just watched the football, but the result didn't go our way. We've had a lovely little glue vine, some bock first, and we've got a weekend of Christmas fun to go. I can't beat a bit of glue van. Cheers, Jason. It's 1860 Munchen. Holy moly. Oh, it's actually, good. it's a bit harsh. In a break from all the Christmas stuff, we've just found Hofbrau House, a beer hall, and you can't come to Munich without having a stein or two. Let's have a jar. Nothing says Christmas more than a ridiculous amount of beer. Cheers, brother. I can't do it. I think you're supposed to enjoy it a bit more than just clucking it down like that. They're looking at Steins. I wonder if they'll be buying any. Now to show sure a shot of the buying one. Night has fallen on day two. We thought we'd get into the spirit of 1860 and come and sing some carols at their old stadium. Apparently there's some players here too. We've been given some festive hats, a candle and a booklet to sing along. Oh, holy knacked. Um, why do you support 1860 instead of Bayern? Oh, well, it's not a question. <laughs> you can't choose your club, your club chooses you. It's simple. There is nothing else in Munich. My mother was already a supporter in her youth, and she inherited, of course, to me. The stadium is the oldest stadium in Munich. It was built in 1911. The one who built it, he was the president of 1860 Munich. And so the whole club played here until the 30s. I love it. And so that's why we, we say, okay, we want to make party here. We want to celebrate something here. We make a Christmas party here. That's the reason why we're here now. We have just ordinary people coming from the neighborhood and uh, fans of 1860. And for the first time, 
uh, also the players of the professional team. We want to bring life to the stadium, we want to bring the people from Giesing, from this quarter of town, to the stadium and do something to together, sing Christmas carols and have a good time. We come together singing Christmas songs in our stadium, where else? It's our church. Where else would you sing Christmas songs? Merry Christmas, Jason. Merry Christmas. It's day three, I've got a slight dull headache from all the mild wines at the carol singing last night, but I had a bloody good time. Uh, today we've got the Krampus Festival. Krampus. I think we found the Krampus cats because they've all got dark eyes. I think they're waiting to put on their big scary helmets and leg it around chasing kids. You know when he jumped up at us, I got a little bit, a little bit woozy. As <laughs> so I was walking there, I was chatting to you, and he was just like... Krampus is a horrific beast who doesn't deal with the nice kids, he deals with the naughty kids. He's the opposite to Santa. And apparently, when he gets the naughty kids, he slits open their bellies, puts them full of rocks and straw, and transports them to hell. Here comes the Krampus. Watch out, naughty children. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That's horrible! Ah! Oh! 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 We've got Bruce and Grandma in the middle, orchestrating the rest of the Krampus. Get a picture of Bruce and Grandma. Krampus with hands. <laughs> We've just finished up at the Krampus run and that concludes our ultimate Christmas weekend. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Copper 90. Merry Christmas to one and all. I've just finished the film in this camera and it's really messing up. I don't know what's wrong with it. We use this on our blogs for the dot com. This is Lee's Jason and this is f***ed up. <laughs> Sorry mate, you're right. <laughs>